Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind. Um, so today I did some of the uh, first things. Um, yesterday I did some of the walks, and today I did. Where am I going? I'm going in the foreign quarter. Where am I? Foreign quarter. Uh, not many Argonians in the Morag Tong. Look for him at Black Stalk Corner Club at the Lower Waste Works of the Foreign Quarter. Also the Lower Waste about? Works. Upper Waste Works. Um, so yes, I did some of the walking in the real world today. Nope, oh, that's the upper. Wait, we're in the lower. God damn, I hate this place. So yeah, I strapped, like, that. 12 pounds to my chest. Justice never sleeps. Alm Civi watch over you. Okay, so it's the same thing. We're in four and quarter lower waste works. Uh, these are depictions of the tribunal. That's Vivek. You can tell because his hair is... Vivek is bald, but is often depicted with a head of flame. Uh, Omalexi has this big, scary helmet. And uh, Sotha Sil is there, too. Sotha Sil is the most, like... Yeah, he's their too guy, like, ever, I think. Like, of the tribunal, he's the first one to lose interest in the affairs of, like, the real world. Uh, welcome. Vivek can be confusing for us when we live here. Is there a specific place you want or someone in particular? Sorry, I'm just looking at these. Someone in particular. I am a healer. Cool. What you got on you? Mmm, I see. I'm listening. Yeah, um... What is it? This is a part of the main quest that I think is pretty weak. Tidy. So where are you from? Pardon me, sirs. Well, I'm Hold on. Where am I? Foreign Quarter Canal Works. Um, hmm. Foreign Quarter at the Black Shulk. So, by the way, it's totally up to you if you want to steal all these things. Um, speaking of, let's see if we can't get rid of some of this. Probably not. Oh, well. We can also steal everything from her. But there's an interesting thing. In other games, things that are stolen are just marked as stolen and can't be bought unless you sell them to a fence. And then either buy them back or just, you know, keep your money and run. But you're likely going to get scammed, so why would you do that? But in this, only the person you stole the item from will know that it is stolen. So if I were to steal one of her shirts and then what words do you have for me, citizen? Uh pardon me. You're in my 
dude. For fuck's sake. I'm fucking trying. Jesus. Foreign quarter, lower waist works. So maybe it is in this area and I'm dumb. I mean, that's entirely probable. Hey, Nerevo Rising is playing though. Can you give me some help here, man? Black, black. Black skulk in the lower waist works. Four and quarter lower. Four and quarter lower waist works. Black skull. Is this a sick joke? I guess we'll go this way. One of the things about this game is that the music is great. Jeremy Soule does awesome work. But this isn't exactly, you know, super epic. In fact, it's pretty lame. Upper? Yeah. Can you tell me where the black skulk is? What is it, Sarah? Or is it shulk? It is shulk. Pardon me, I'm Dilsaxic. All right, I'm listening. Apokithri? What you got? There we go. So there's also a way to get more money out of everything. Selling things individually will allow you to haggle the price for every single thing up individually. Does that make sense? I understand if it doesn't, it's a very strange mechanic. But basically, any one of these, you can put almost anything into a potion. Rare books. I think we were told about this as well. Foreign quarters, the large three tiered canton to the north. Foreigners weren't allowed to enter Vivek further than the foreign quarter, but now outlanders can travel throughout Vivek at will. Imperial guilds have guild halls and complete services here. Imperial cult shrines services spiritual needs of the Imperial faithful. Independent guys rent space. The Black Shulk rents beds. I might have to pause to go kick my cat out, by the way. It said he's unfamiliar. See, if I were to steal some of these from him and then try to sell it right back, he would be like, hey, you fuck.
Yep, I gotta go kick my cat out. Hey, we're back. All right. <laughs> yes. So now I can't talk to him ever because he'll recognize that I robbed him. Now there is also a bug in this game. Uh, in certain versions of this game. Um, that means we've got to find the black skull. It's said that it was on the same level though. So maybe if I go down a staircase and then look around. No, that can't be it. Okay, so I'll go back up. Sorry, I'm getting all over the place. There's a bug in some version of this game. Tidings. Why do you stand here, sir? What are you what are you doing? What do you seek? Jesus. Bug in the game. What happens? Because this item in my inventory is stolen. If I ever pick up a second, the game will think that both are stolen, even if I acquired the... F I went in a circle. Even if I acquired the first by stealing and the second through legitimate means. I don't need to know about all the cantons. Wheeler. Lower waterworks in the foreign corner. We know that. What is this about? It's on the same level. We're in the lower waste works. Lower waste works. Okay, so I am in the right place. I thought that I'd screwed myself because I was reading. Yes. Do I know you? Get out of our way, Enwa. We've got issues with this filthy lizard. It's kind of welcome here. Belongs in the swamp with the rest of him. Yeah. Um. Dunmer has a lot of anti-lizard uh, hate. Tell your friends about this. What do you ask? Of I welcome you as a friend of my friend, Galena. I wish to go to my friend's bookstore and these fools are in the way. Try to persuade them, but they hate my race and they fear they will go to violence. Perhaps you speak with them, but be careful and ready. Sight of a free Argonian troubles offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Morag Tong honor to slay them. Yes, because they don't have a contract on them. Because if they have a contract, you can kill them in broad daylight, say. Sorry, official business. Hold up your, you know, badge. And the guards will be like, hmm? Mm hmm Um, if you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. Or if you have a way with money... They might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there must be bloodshed. Am I talking to you, Fetcher? No, I'm talking to the filthy lizard. So, put you off. What are you, some kind of filthy liver, lizard lover? Want to give your little friend a big kiss? Cheap words. Do you have better things to do? Go ahead, I'm listening. Your threat comes from a weak, limp bag. You're pathetic. <laughs> Is it just one of these? Oh, that's a crime, but they're racists. Fine, I'll kill everyone. God, more when combat, huh? Nope, not dead. Doesn't count. Hey, we're back. I taunted him and he said, you'd lose. Taunt fail. What is that tiresome noise? You're pathetic. Get lost. Getting a lot of, uh, 
I'm gonna tell you, get lost. Okay. Alright. Travel together. Okay. Whoops. All right, cool. Nice and easy, huh? Steel Tonto. Ooh, he's got throwing stars. What are you? Ooh, a dagger. Nets leather. What am I wearing? Boiled nets leather. So this is just straight worse. What about you? Short sword, boiled netch. And then let's ditch the old one. Cloth bracers, netch leather boots. I've got steel boots. Throwing knives. Netch leather greaves. What am I wearing? Dark brother greaves. Yeah. And what the hey? Nope, that won't work. Let's have some sips, huh? Still? Fine, drop another one. Tell your friends about this place. Can we barter? So something so something that you can do is well not with this. Ooh, will you buy this plate? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Let me get rid of that, huh? So here, here's the here's the game, right? I want to get rid of this Cerdillac brandy, so I'll sell one. And then reduce it. The issue is that this is all die rolls. Okay. Here's what we can do. So that's worth 100, but we're selling it for 45. So let's put it up 10. Here we go. And now we've made a little more money off of it. More than we normally would. Let's try to persuade him. Oof. Tough fucking crowd, huh? But I'm trying to butter you up. I want you buttered, man. This guy's a pro. Our doors are always open. Jesus, he's rock solid. Oh, good. There we go. Our doors are always open. So, yeah. You can just save scum. Try to get their opinion of you up. You can do this for free. You can do this as many times as you want. You 
You can do this without magic. But boy, is it sluggish. But there's things about that. Uh, we can try to put on... A fortify something. We don't have any. Oh god, what'd I do? Have a look around. Okay, we're good. Anyway, I still want to get rid of this Serdiac Brandy. So selling them all one at a time allows you to individually mark up the price more per each. But it is just quicker to do that, you know? Um, I'm going to sell you these, huh? Oh, he's dry. Very well. Your friends about this place. Uh, do I have anything else on me? Uh, what do you got on you, my friend? Soul rice, scuttle. Grief, flynn, crab meat. Let's get some sujama, huh? Um, how's that do you, my friend? And then we'll drink one, I guess. It's a pretty common thing in a lot of the Elder Scrolls is... Of just getting all of these goddamned potions that, like, you're probably never going to use. I remember that it was always really bad in Skyrim. Look at this fucking walk animation, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much. Should be just free from distraction. Tell you about the Nerevarian cult, and I don't know about the Sixth House, but I'll tell you what I know. Thank you, I say. To understand the Nerevarian cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nerevar means something very different to the Ashlanders from what he means to the Dunmer of the Great Houses. You should also know about persecution of the Nerevarine and the legacy of the False Incarnate, for the Nerevarine cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Great House Dunmer. Here's a summary, but ask your questions, I'll answer in detail. <coughs> Pardon me. In the first era, nomadic Ashlanders and the settled Dunmer clans were much alike, but after the First Council and the formation of the Great Houses, Ashlanders have been forced into the poorest and most hostile lands. Now the nomadic tribes look to the prophesied return of Nerevar for a restoration of their ancient rites and religious traditions. Um, in modern times, Morrowind is ruled by five Great Houses. Hlalu, Redoran, Tilvani, Indoril, and Dress. Great House's culture is defined by its roots in ancient Dol Dunmer tribal clans and partly by later imperial influences and in other Western cultures. Great House's culture is only one of the native Dunmer cultures of Morrowind. The other native culture, Ashlander, is nomadic barbarian culture, largely untouched by influence. Um, Ashlanders. Ashlanders hate the House Dunmer, who becomes soft, and abound... Uh, House Dunmer, yikes. Um, abandoned a traditional ancestor worship for the gods of the tribunal. Um, the Ashlanders hate Outlanders who invaded and stole their lands and forced them to live as a subject people. A reborn Nerevar who could drive the Outlander invaders out, de uh, destroy the false worship of the tribunal, and restore the pure traditional life and faith of the nomads would be a very popular hero to the Ashlanders. Um, what else? Tell me about. Can you tell me about Nerevar? Ooh, this one's good. 
I'm sorry, I don't know why you'd tell me this. In the old country, they said great store by dreams and omens. I am an educated creature. Dreams mean nothing, they're just fantasies. Fancies. Imagination. Aslanders. Okay. Uh, history. Persecution of the Neverine. Um, temple treats the Neverine prophecy as heresy, and the temple imprisons and executes heretics unless prevented by imperial law. Since the cult is hostile to the emperor, uh, to the empire rather, empire does not interfere when temple persecutes the cult. Ashlanders hate the temple and the ordinators for their ruthless treatment of Neverine cultists. Gave you a summary of that for Caius. When the Ashlanders joined Nerevar in the Battle of Red Mountain, he swore in his great ring, one clan and a moon and star, to honor the ways of the spirits and the rights of the land. After the victory, Ashlanders say the power-hungry tribunal slew Nerevar in secret, then setting themselves up as gods, the tribunal and the great houses forgot the promises. Ashlanders say Nerevar will come again with his ring, cast on the false gods, and make good his promises on the tribes. In the past, some have claimed to be the reincarnated Nerevar. The most recent is known as Peak Star, a figure of legend among the Waste Tribes for the last 30 years. Temples say these false incarnates disprove the prophecies, since the false incarnates fail and come to nothing. But the mysterious Nere Nereverine cult glorifies rather than shrinks from contradictions. Citing the appearance of false incarnates, failed incarnates, as certain proof of Nerevar's coming rebirth. He doesn't think I'm ready. All right. Uh, is there anything else? False Incarnate, Friends Bookstore. All right. And then we've got to go to the Hall of Wisdom and St. Alms. Move along. One mo. Hey, so I've got to buy a copy of this book. I'm really trying to hack. There we go. You wish to speak. Now, it is also possible to just go upstairs and steal it from that little table right there. Um, Move along. Yeah, normally it would be right here, but because I bought it, it's now in my inventory. Uh, legally, though, which is a cool thing, because that helps me a lot. Uh, all right. I think that's everything. So now we've got to go to St. Olm's. must be going so if you could make it quick shut up all right there we go i think saint olms is a different well let's check actually rhetoran temple there we go. Yeah, big mushrooms. I love that. Oh, someone discorded me. It's Katie. Sorry, Kate. I'm recording. Come on. Hup. Come on. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm not going to be um, abstracting the drinking of booze uh, at all. Sorry to disappoint anyone. St. Holmes. 
um, our good friend here drinks uh, far, far, far more um, Oh, hello. Far more booze than anyone ever should or could. Crab mit. Oh, these have the same model. I guess it makes sense. There's no reason why they shouldn't. All right. This time. It worked! Alright. My last Sujama. Uh, there's a bridge. As I mentioned, my pool is not open yet, so I'm not exactly sure how I will abstract the swimming. Um, I might just, like, swim for a whole day with, like... I mean, it would be safest to do without the weights on, because, like, if I die, then, like, shit, man, I'll just die. Oh, for God's sakes. Come now. Certainly, I'm gonna have to let my cat claw me a lot. Although, I will be able to put on socks. Um, yes, in case anyone forgotten or hadn't heard, the way that I'm going to be abstract abstracting the way that animals fight me is uh, any time an animal fights me, I'm just gonna go play with my cat. Um, until I feel that they've done the equivalent n amount of damage. Um, and I'm gonna do it without socks on for the first little bit. Um, which might, uh, whatever. Cure my disease I don't have. Let's see if I can't drink some fortify, s restore fatigues. Oh, right. I forgot. Oh, man. I'm sorry, dagger. I'll probably get another steel dagger, though. How heavy are these things? Wait, point three. The knife is literally identical. It has the same model. How is it a heavier knife? Um, St. Olm's, please. Resident Camptons, Cantons for Commoners and Paupers. Temple charges reasonable rates for comfortable workshops, shops, and apartments, and most of Vardenfell's crafts and light industry is housed in these cantons. Abbey of St. Delon the Wise is on the top tier of St. Delon, and the Halalu Councilor Yingling Half Troll has a top tier manor in Olms. What is it, Sarah? Right. And Olms. So. That's Delon, that's Olms. Okay. Uh, where are you going? Where's your destination? I can carry you to the arena, the foreign quarter, or the center of... Huh. What is it, Sarah? Thank you, but I will walk for now. I don't have, like, carriage money. I've got grief on me. Reef. Man. 
Oh, I just realized. Um, I don't know if I've talked about the the biggest thing in Vivek. So, um, the tribunal are heathenous, uh, heathenous gods. Um, it's in Vivek, right? It should be. God. Why is my memory so fuzzy? I hate it. Uh, they're heathenous gods. And, uh, a lot of Dunmer typically would instead practice Daedral worship. Um, so Vivek and the tribunal doing what they do steals followers from the Daedra. It actively steals them. And Vivek, who, you know, he's now a god, so he's like, eh, look at me, I'm a god now. Had this big ass temple built. You can see it there. To the south. Shogorath, um, Daedric Prince of Madness and Chaos, essentially the Elder Scrolls equivalent of Loki, threw a meteor at the place. That's the meteor. Uh, they hollowed it out. Uh. No, thank you. Um, they hollowed it out and use it as uh, <laughs> as offices, basically. I believe that's the Ministry of Truth in there. Uh, and you can see here that I think this is where my title card art is. Uh, but yes, this is Vivek using his spear to slay this beast. Um, this is mentioned in some of the books that Vivek wrote. That spear is called Muatra, which is a nonsense word that is actually an anagram for trauma. And it may also be Vivek's penis. Um, Vivek is a hermaphrodite. I'm not sure how relevant that is to Muatra, but probably is. But yeah, the only way to get up there... The reason I remembered it is because I looked at the Rising Force potion... Which does literally... Yeah, Bargain Rising Force. It does literally just make you start floating and going up. Um, but here's what Vivek did. And this is... I, I can't tell if this is evil or brilliant or both. But he was like, Alright, this meteor is suspended by my godly power and so it'll only stay suspended as long as you love me. This meteor is suspended in the air by your love for me, and if it ever fades, the meteor will drop into Morrowind. And if you're coming here from Skyrim, the reason that there's so much more ash in Solstheim, since uh, we'll probably see Solstheim at some point here. Um, uh, Kaiji Thieves Guild... Adhiranir. Adhiranir. Alright. Uh, that sounds familiar. Can't seem to remember. Necromancy is illegal and evil according to custom and religion. Can you tell me where the Thieves Guild is? Anyway, yeah. Uh, looking for a friend of mine. Um, excuse me, I'm busy. Sorry to bother you. Yes. Hmm. Still here, huh? Hmm. So we're looking for the same person. That complicates it. Welcome to Vivek. Are you looking for services? Uh, yeah. That sneak, she'll be in St. Elm somewhere. If the heat's on, she may not be in public. Ask around. Maybe someone else has seen her. I'm trying, bro. Let's do some business, shall we? Uh, same thing. Outland, what do you want? Oh, 
Oh, hey. Let's do some business, shall we? Uh, what do you sell? You sell... Yeah. All right. Time to get rid of these. Boop and boop. Hmm. Chitin Gauntlet. Left Gauntlet. <laughs> okay, and uh, Right Pauldron. Take that up a little bit, and all right. Fashion souls. Oh, damn, they got some good stuff on that table, though. Anyone tell me where the friggin' Thieves Guild is? Actually, why don't I just... Alright, I checked the wiki to remind myself, and by that I mean I cheated and looked up the answer. She's, uh, hiding way, way down here. Uh, hiding, in fact, from that fella that we saw. Since this is an excise agent has been prowling the Canton, Fla. And this agent, who is that guy we met, has been showing an interest in her. My guess is this guy's making his appearance. She'll be hiding in the underworks. Swims pretty good for a kitty. Gets her inspiration from the senses and excise, I reckon. Look for trapdoors down to the canal works level. What is this about? Hey. So, Kaya says, do you speak with a uh, he... God, I can't read this fucking name. And you have done this thing. You're speaking with me. But I will not talk with you about the Reverend of the Sixth House Cult. Because why? Because at this very moment, I'm being distracted by a nice census and excise who wants to speak with her. Can't wait to get Moon and Star. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh shit. Sorry, I've always had trouble getting out of those fucking things. Hey, yep. So now that we know where she is, why don't we just go talk to that census and excise agent? Almost no combat this uh, episode. There's that bar fight I was in. Welcome to the Vec. What you got? Halberd? Oh, will you buy my plate? Yes! Oh, he can't afford it. Um... Take some soul gems off your hands. Still not enough. Um... Hmm... Cancel it. I'm Let's do some business. Uh, what about you? Can you can afford it? Um, how much is this? This is four units. This is five. So I'll still be making a. Oh God damn it! Uh, well, in that case, give me a dagger too, huh? And the soldier. There we go. Where's my weight at? It's good. Alright, I love the chitin weapons, so, um, and I've wanted a weapon that isn't enchanted so I can, 
you know, have something that I feel is, like, not my go-to, my only. See, so, yeah, I've got this now. So, where did that, where the fat guy go? Of course, there's only one body type. There's actually only one fat person in this game, interestingly enough. Uh, they're Imperial Tax Collectors. They hunt smugglers and tax dodgers. Move along. Outland, what do you want? All right. You don't buy po you sell potion ingredients, but you don't buy potions. What about you? Nothing. You don't even sell at all. Madness, I says. All right. I'm gonna go look for him. Hey, so I'm up here, and I figured it might be good to show. Oops. This is the plaza. It's the big area with all the stuff. Yes, I have questions. Should be in St. Alms. Can you help me find a... Uh, Excise agent. Welcome to Vivek. So I haven't mentioned this yet. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, at least. But the Ordinators, the big gold guys with the big cool things. They've got the big-ass helmets and stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. Um I believe they have the best um medium armor in the game. I think that this is the best medium armor set in the game. Yeah, these fellas. Uh the helmet is based off of the face of one Indoril Nerevar, which is primarily how we know how Nerevar looks. Neat, huh? Wow, that's some enchanted stuff. Can I help you find someone in particular? Uh, ooh, Crassius Curio lives here. Three Hlalu Lords. Speak up. Adventure lies beyond the cities, friend. Kneeling Manor. I assume he's not actually half full. What are you? My premium services are sweet. Oh, right, because I'm house hauling. Duh. May the wind be on your back. So yeah, this is Yingling Half Troll. Not actually half a troll. Just an ugly Nord guy. Speak up. Don't know where he lives. Seen him on top of St. Holmes before. Yes. Oh god, I'm getting lost. At any rate, we can just leave out through here. Yeah, look at that. The fact looks cool, at least. You know? Hey, you're a tailor, right? Don't you buy and sell things? Outland, what do you want? Oh god, I walk completely by you. Pardon me. Yes, Outlander. You barter. Uh, it just so happens I've got some ex uh, expensive gear: an amulet, a ring, uh, a shirt, and these shoes uh, that are apparently worth dick diddly. The hell? What is this about? Wind out this old chestnut again, huh? It never works. All right. 
So the expensive shirt is worth 15, but she's selling it for one. Fine, I'll sell it for one. What about this? Look, at some point, money won't be an object. Wow, hard sell. Does she know it's stolen? Like, I know that she doesn't, but like, can she smell it on me? Is she like... Hmm. Smells. Thievey. Uh, as I said, I'm looking for a friend of mine. Do you know where I can find her? No. Goodbye. Yes. Hmm. Sorry to bother you. So the easiest way to go about this is, uh, you know, one of these. A, uh, how you say, assassination? Oh god, the guards are coming. Uh, let's resist arrest. And let's, uh, load that save, huh? Um, so this is embarrassing, but I finally got a really good kill. And, uh, turns out I wasn't recording. Whoops. Well, I'll be honest. Did do a little cheating. Uh, I did get a very good kill, and then I got away, and then I pussied out and set console commands to, uh, make my crime back to normal. Um, mostly because I wanted to get done with this leg of the quest. Alright. Glad to see you. Happy to tell a good friend Caius about the cult. I know nothing about the Nerevarine, but I'm happy to tell you too, and you. I know nothing about the Nerevarine, because it's superstition. Tell Caius this. No one pays any attention to nonsense. Prophecies and heroes are just silliness. Pussy tales for kitties. Made him go away? This is a good trick. Don't ask how you do it, because I don't want to know. But yeah, um, I fucking came back in to, like... God, what happened was I fucking stopped the recording. I came back in to restart it to, to make some more attempts. I did a good attempt. And then after he was dead, everyone was like, hey, hold on. And I was like, no, I got away with it, though. Fucking moron. So uh, I cheated. I admit it. I, I set my crime back to nothing with console commands because I did only kill one guy and it was pretty stealthy. You know, I'd have gotten away with it too if it weren't for this meddling engine. Uh, and I came back in to fucking uh, stop the recording so I could... I might even be able to show you. Uh, yeah, it set PC crime level zero. Um, I tried these because I didn't remember the thing exactly. Anyway... Uh, I came back in to pause the recording so I could uh, come down here. And I was like, oh my fucking god. Because I had a bunch of justifications when I was actually cheating, but I was saying them to no one because it didn't fucking record. Ah, well. Anyway. Um, I don't feel bad about cheating too much in this game if it's just minor things like that. Um, but hey, if it makes you feel any better, I'm going to go attack a guard right now and serve the crime. Uh, all right, this I know about. It's smuggling. Some smart smugglers are suddenly too busy for their old clients because they have a new employer. It must be the sixth house who pays very well. 
What do they smuggle now? I don't know, because they're secret. Uh, and this is odd because these smugglers are loud and bragging. And now they hush up like fat billed killies full of s kitties full of sweetmeats. <laughs> Journal updated. I think this is the sort of thing Kaius is looking for. Now you die. Wait, that didn't get seen? Fine, I'll kill you. Are there just no... So what's happening here is that I don't have any stamina, so whenever she punches me, she drains my... Uh, my stuff. My, my staminas. Which knocks me down. I wonder who killed her. I intended to just hit her once and... and call it a day oh uh, well playthroughs tainted <laughs> playthrough will forever have console commands yeah, it was a thing like that where like I, I wasn't sneaking see it's all over the place because I wasn't sneaking there and I was able to successfully kill that person and I didn't get called out but I was sneaking and didn't get seen until he was after already dead Oh, God. <sighs> Jesus. Um, hmm. Got some expensive shoes to get rid of, if you don't mind. And let's see here. I do have a lot of... A lot of these. Um, let's get rid of... The silver short sword because it's too expensive for its own good. And the silver flame blade. Because silver weapons are real expensive. There you go. Let's do some business, shall we? Pardon me. You know, and I got a dagger back. Alright. What the hell am I doing now? I'm still recording, right? Okay. Um, suffice it to say, I'm not going to include console commands. I wouldn't use them unless the game freaked out. Um, and like, we've already seen that I've had to use like cheats. The teleport potions are in the game, but this game wasn't meant to have fast travel. It's not included in it. Um, which means that you're not technically supposed to use it, arguably. You know, you're supposed to save it, but like, for one, I wanted to see what it did because I almost never use them. And for the other, I got stuck in a fucking wall. All right. Uh, Mary Milo, a priestess at the Hall of Wisdom in the Temple Compound. Wait. I think there's a quicker way out of here. I wonder if I can... I think I typed it right. I just have to do it with a... Am I spelling it wrong? Let's... There we go. Yes. Your death was a little weird, and I just murdered someone in the basement, so you know what? Life for a life. <laughs> this fucking playthrough... <laughs> this fucking playthrough gets dumber by the day. Oh, man. All right. Um. I felt kind of bad about killing him and then erasing my bounty, even though it was because of some bullshit. So you know what? He gets to live. Oh, God. Did I save? You want something, friend? Well, I wanted the chance to, to do my thing. It's probably not even going to happen this time. 
You know, put up or shut up, huh? That's stride, though, huh? I'm listening. Okay, for real, though, um, I have done all this. I have even... I'll, I'll just show you that I can kill him. I won't even try to be sneaky about it. Getting dumber by the second. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna go catch back up because god, this is just... I wanna get away from this. Alright, hey, we're back. I did basically everything the same. Except I just murdered that guy and then cleared my bounty. I don't feel like fucking with that. Let's do one of these, huh? So this is what Rising Force does. Basically gives you a very slow fall. You can also go up with it, but right now I'm interested in going down. I primarily wanted to show off the things that it does. Um, these are banned in Skyrim. You cannot use these in Skyrim. Not just because they're not in the game engine. Uh, same to in Oblivion, but in the lore they were actually made illegal. As though, like, that would be the reason that the main character wouldn't use them. Like, god, no one does illegal things in the Elder Scrolls. And, like, if you're gonna cheat, you may as well cheat. Just, you know, hack your way up. Like me. Um, sorry, what am I doing? Uh, Miramilo. Ministry of Truth is a celestial body suspended by Vivek's mighty power over the Great Temple in the High Fane in Vivek City. That thing. Oh, yeah, also, if an Ordinator sees you wearing Ordinator armor, they'll kill you. This is Vivek Temple. I need to be in... Oops. Hall of Wisdom. Hall of Justice. Meanwhile, the Hall of Justice. Uh, where's the Hall of Wisdom? Um, thank you. I'll be honest. If I walked up to a cop and I was like, tell me about the local Walmart. I don't know if I'd get it, you know? Ordinators, you know, they've got that going for them. Can you tell me where... You can't. All right. Is there something I can do for you? Outlander. Move along. I'm trying, dude. The absolute goal of them to be like, yes, why are you still here? You. When they're physically standing in my way. That's just offensive. Maramilo. Common amulets. Oh. Go ahead, Outlander. What, what do you it, need? Citizen? Oh wait, hold on. They might have it in here. Sir, will you go away, please? I need to commit a crime. Tidings. <laughs> I love how my acrobatics keeps going up because I'm doing my board jumps.
I don't know how this fucking Glock picking system works, to be honest. Am I, uh... Oh, Deucey's unhinging. She's not even in here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, that didn't count then. We don't even have to worry about it. We don't have to worry, you know? What crime? There wasn't a cr There wasn't a crime that time. What are you guys talking about? There was they're not even Shh. Go on about your business. Uh leads to the Hall of Justice. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. Someone's watching me, I can tell. Uh let's use the local map. Is there something I can do for Are you, Marimilo? Yes. Oh, she works right here in the library. Is there something I can do for you? Hello. I'm Kyra I'm um I'm Aramilo. Kaya sent you? Follow me to the back of the library. We can't talk here. Citizen. I also want to point out uh these guys have a dope ass scar. You can see it going across their face. It's the V in Nerevar. All right. May I help you? Go ahead. I don't know anything about a six house, but I can tell you about the Nerevan cult. Uh, Temple worships Nerevar as a saint and a hero, but prophets of the reincarnation are heresy. The cult claims the tribunal of false gods, hence the persecution of the Nerevan cult. A group called the Dissent Pr Dissident Priests dispute temple doctrine on the prophecies. The book Progress of Truth describes their belief. Get a copy for Caius. That'll tell him what he needs. Caius is a dear friend. Like me, he admires the traditions of the temple, uh, charity for the poor, education for ignorant, protection for the weak. He's a Westerner, but he has come to love our land and people. Like me, he disrupts, he distrusts the arbitrary power of the ordinators, and like the distant priest, suspects the temple's hiding something. Serves the emperor, but also loves Morrowind, and sees the failing virtue of the temple as a threat to Morrowind's political stability. Dagoth Ur is the evil immortal enemy of the tribunal temple cult. Temple holds Dagoth Ur and his host accountable for all evils of the Dunmer and Morrowind. Dagoth Ur lives in fiery caverns underneath Red Mountain, served by his kin called Ash Vampires and legions of deformed monsters. Uh, at once brave and honorable, cunning and devious, Lord Vivek is a rare combination of a flamboyant adventurer and prudent statesman. Progress of Truth. Um, it lists the disputes of distant priests with tri tribunal temple doctrines. Temple has outlawed the sale of possession of the book, so it's hard to find. We have a copy here, but I fear I'm being watched by ordinators. Safe plan would be to search local booksellers. Some booksellers ignore temple bans on outlawed books for principal or profit. So we can look in here, but if you remember, we've actually already got one. There's someone watching you. I can tell. Which means that um, the thing that we picked up earlier means that we don't have to screw around here anymore. We can just find our way out. What is it, citizen? With one technical crime committed. And you know what? That's a win in my book. All right, I think this is the way out. And then we can just hit the road and get the hell out of here. Wealth beyond measure. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now we've just got to head back to Balmora. Which, as the crow flies, is this way. I will avoid the river, even though it's a little quicker. For now. Um, because as I mentioned, I don't have a way to swim right now. God. Morrowind is so weird and cool. And there's so many of these cool and weird things that are not in other Elder Scrolls. Like... 
Skyrim, I feel, is very concerned with being an epic, with feeling epic. You know? And that was the easiest one yet. There we go. Do a little dive here. A little swimmy swim. Um, yeah, Skyrim is concerned with feeling like Beowulf. Because what happens in Beowulf? Uh, Beowulf is sent by the Jarl to go kill a monster. Upon killing that monster, he's given a house as a gift. Uh, and he's also given a cool sword. When he kills another monster, he gets another cool sword. Etc. Etc. Uh, when he slays a dragon, he gets a bunch of loot. It's a whole thing, you know? And Beowulf is an epic. But I feel like Skyrim is concerned with feeling like Beowulf. And with um, Oblivion, it feels concerned about... It wants to be, you know... It wants to have intrigue. It wants to be like Game of Thronesy. But this is willing to blend weird with stuff. It's willing to be so weird, and I really like that. Because one of the things about Oblivion that really, really does not appeal to me is that it is just another miscellaneous Western European looking thing. Like, you know, like Middle Earth, like Daggerfall, you know, a thing we've already done in the Elder Scrolls. Um, like Dragon's Dogma. I could go on. Like Two Worlds, like Two Worlds 2. Um, like, I feel like even Baldur's Gate has more going on. Like, it's just so content to be normal Western European medieval fantasy that hasn't really evolved that much since, um, like, Tolkien. And there are some cool things in Oblivion. Primarily the Shivering Isles, where it throws all that shit in the trash like it should, and is willing to ask the question of, what's it like to spend a week with the God of Madness? And I'm very pleased by the answer. That DLC rocks. I don't even know what Knights of the Nine is about. But Shivering Isles... Shivering Isles might be one of the best Skyrim... Like... Skyrim. One of the best Elder Scrolls DLCs ever. Um, Dawnguard is pretty good. Uh, I love Blood Moon, one of the DLCs for this. Um, and Tribunal is... Tribunal and da uh, Dragonborn are very much like sequels to their respective games' main stories. Because like in this, you know, I mentioned how it's like Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, they talk about how great these four knights are. And how, how these four knights... Oh, these four knights are so cool. And you only ever meet one of them. And then in the DLC, the other three knights are all hanging out there. Just They're just in there. And in this game... You know, everyone's talking about the Tribunal. You only meet Vivek in the main story. The other two Tribunal members, you know, Tribunal meaning three. Yeah, only one of them's in the main game. The only other two are in the DLC called Tribunal. Hey, I passed my saving throw. Oh god. I hate seeing little places like that where rocks bunch up because I always get worried I'm going to like clip into the wall or something. Ooh, Balmora is far north of here. What's that on the road there? Wachow! Oh, it's grass. <laughs> well, fear not, for I have slain this grass. Uh, 
The reason that I'm resting is because I don't want to do this in the middle of the night and because I want to have full stamina. Also, it's making my mana come back. Not that I care. It's kind of nice to not have to worry about um, magic at all. Like, I can just avoid that bar. Anyway, I got off topic. Um, but yeah. Skyrim is not generic Western European fantasy. Um, I would argue that it could be seen as generic Northern European fantasy because it is just, you know, it's so Viking-y. Like, my dad played so much Skyrim that when he saw God of War 4, he wasn't interested. Even though, you know, those games are completely different, he's like, look, man, I'm just not ready to fight a bunch more Draugr. We got Skyrim a couple of months after it came out. And to this day, my dad has still not played God of War 4. And like... Is it because of the MCU? Viking myth, you know, Norse mythology is starting to get a little overplayed. Is it just because Thor is like a thing now? Thor is an MCU guy? There we go. Come on, I want to see that sunrise. How close are we? Okay. I'm recording, right? Okay. I, uh... I can't believe I fucking lost recording. I can't believe I lost recording. I hate it when that happens. Um, recently I lost... I Well, the, the really bad thing is that I recently created a two and a half hours worth of footage that are unusable. Um, reason being... I recorded for four hours. I recorded for almost five, in fact. But... Uh, I didn't check my audio, and so for a chunk of the video, my audio is just completely blown out, because... Uh, my mic does this thing where if I don't, like, reset it every so often, unplug it, you know, just let it rest. Sometimes when I turn on OBS, it'll just... Uh, be turned all the way up and so it sounds like one of those awful bass boost memes and like so had to put up with that so I've got two hours of video sitting on my PC where I'm like what the fuck am I gonna do like am I gonna upload two hours of just shit audio that is nearly impossible to listen to like, I imagine at least a chunk of these people watch things for my commentary. Um, and I know for a fact that some people are specifically going to watch it for my commentary. Uh, the video in question, which I will not say what it is. Just in case. Um. Because whenever, whenever someone's like, look, I'm not gonna, like, um, Brian David Gilbert would do this a lot where he's like, all right. I recorded eight hours of me talking about all the different monsters in Castlevania, but it was boring, so I'm not going to upload it. And everyone said, no, upload it, though. And he's like, why? You say you're going to watch it, but most people aren't. They're not really that interested. And, like, I feel that. Some people argue that BDG could make talking about anything interesting, and I agree with them, but I also respect his decision to leave the stuff that he thinks is just rough because it's not working out very well in the trash. Like, that was why I quit my first uh, Morrowind playthrough. Um, and also a big reason as to why I'm doing this. Because now I can have the true Morrowind experience. Console commands included. I think... Um, I think sometimes there are just bugs in these games that people are like, oh, it's Bethesda. And I'm like, no, I think we should hold them to a higher standard. And by the way, I'm going to take that to my grave. I think we should hold Bethesda to a higher standard. But when you're on PC, sometimes there are just weird things in quests or like annoying parts or like, ah, disease scrib.
And again, we see the issue. The fact that my reticle is lined up with a target is irrelevant. He's passing his saving throw. Or something. His AC is too high. Some shenanigans. There we go. The, the fact that I'm, you know... Missing is not necessarily to do with the fact that my reticle isn't right on him. It's to do with the fact that the game is like, no, your skill isn't high enough, so you missed. Which I would argue is probably the worst thing about this game. But the issue is, it's a part of the game. So I wasn't really going to mod it out. That said, there are some things like... um. I never got too bad of bugs, uh, but I'll use this as an example. My dad got this bug where I think Farkas in Skyrim, Farkas uh, would not die and would constantly start conversations with my father's character. Um, I personally did not encounter this bug. Um... Apparently, it's even a known bug uh, where other people have encountered it. And it's like... Some people are like, nah, man, that's a Bethesda experience. That's what we're here for, you know? It's, it's, what, it's what, we're, what's, what we're here for. And they're like, no, you got to play with the bugs in. That's, you know, it's part of the, it's part of the thing. And um, this French company... Uh, I remember reading about it in, like when I was reading a bunch of reviews for Fallout 4 because I wanted to get, like... People hate Fallout 4, you see? Um, people think it sucks, and I wanted to get some other opinions on it. Um, and this one French company really, really talked shit on Fallout 4 because of all the bugs. And they were like, look, everyone says the Bethesda experience is that you have to play with the bugs in, but Why? With other games, it's not a given that they're going to be buggy. If you, we were playing like a Zelda or Persona 4 and people would just vibrate through the walls and explode and like all the plates would fly off the shelves, we would be like, hey, that's fucking busted. But for Bethesda, we're like, no, that's what happens. Um, so I think that we should hold Bethesda to higher standards. And hopefully now that they've been bought by Xbox, we can. Anyway. Um, but yeah. There are some things on PC that, with console commands, you kind of just have to fix. Sometimes you can get bugs like that. And, like, what happened to me wasn't necessarily a bug. Um, it was just a thing that I was, like... Just... Let's just make it not a problem. Um, in my single player, I wouldn't do that, but because I'm recording it, I have to kind of... Speed things along here for my another... For my next hour and 30 minute recording. Alright, here to discuss the orders... Have your report. I'll make copies of the notes from Julia. I never actually pronounced her name correctly. I, I kept saying Julia. No, Huila. How did I say it? Did I say it right? Uh, progress. Give me time to read and digest this. In the meantime, I'm promoting you to journeyman. You're doing good work. Here are 200 drakes. Go and treat yourself to a new pair of shoes. Do some jobs to the guild or other freelance works. Keep your cover story current. Get some training. When you're fit and rested, come back and I'll have new orders. Go shopping. Leave me alone. Let me think. Right. Um, now, I might do Fighters Guild or Mage Guild things off camera. Um, or I might also consider doing them not like on camera per se, but like well, not with this camera off and the mic off. Um, and then either just have the sounds of Morrowind lonely to sleep, you know, or alternatively, um, read some of the books, like the 36 lessons of a Vec over it. Uh, he actually took my copy of that book that I had, so I'm not going to be able to read it. That's unfortunate. Um, whoops. Here for orders. I need to return a code. Code book is in Sotilier, the South Wall in Valmora. Oh. That's how I like it. 
Um, where's the south wall then? I assume it's at the south. Council Club, Don Broker. South Pole Corner Club, of course. Getting lost in Balmora and looking for the South Wall Corner Club is a classic part of Morrowind. All right, South Wall Corner Club, coming up, coming up. But yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to include all the side things in this. Um, the idea is just to do the main quest. I intend to do Tribunal and maybe the other DLC, but I might postpone that. Something I can do for you? Code book. What code book? I wouldn't talk to you about that sort of thing. What say you? Get a code book. Okay. Actually, you know, this is probably a good place for it. I will do some Fighters Guild things, not with mic on. Um, but yeah, Ivan Alfred, this has been Morrowind. Thank you for coming. Um, I got a new haircut. I'm very, I'm extra cute. My wife did it for me. So, I hope you guys all have a good day. Um, I hope that maybe this has inspired you to play Morrowind yourself. But, see you guys next time. Ivan Alfred, bye-bye.